this happen? Why is this happening? Why? I bought a brand new white rug. And my dog took a shit on it. My eyes been bothering me a lot today, so I managed to get a tear come out. And then, bonus, I got another tear that just popped out out of nowhere. I was, pre that was pretty cool. For real, my dog shit on my rug. Uh, it, uh, pissed me off. It, well, good old Romeo, he just, he can't hold it in sometimes. He started over here, and there's little plops of poop, and I could tell, they, they just kind of snuck out his butt as he was running to the bathroom. I mean, I'm proud of him. He, he, he really, he, he knew, he knew that I'd be so upset if he shit on my rug. He tried his hardest, he's a trooper. But no, for reals, uh, this video is gonna get pretty serious. <coughs> Good old PewDiePie and I, our personalities are too much alike. And it's starting to piss me off. Piss me off. Piss me off. And it's starting to piss me off. And I'm not saying that we're too much alike because I get so many comments saying, Connor, you're just like PewDiePie. Connor, you're the next PewDiePie. That's another thing we're gonna talk about, but right now we're talking about something else. Before I started YouTube, I never watched PewDiePie's videos. And the reason why is because I thought he always said the F word way too much. I was like, why do you have to say the F word so much? Is that the only thing you got on your, on your comedy? In your, in your comedy window, whenever you open your comedy window, is that the only thing that, that, that can, that, is that, is that the only thing that you have in your comedy crate whenever you roll your comedy crate up, up to the, up, up to the market and you're gonna be selling your, your comedies? It's the only thing that you, that you can sell F words? Is that, is that it? Is that the only thing you have for sale? Is F words? Well, Sorry, buddy. I don't need any F-words today. <laughs> That's why I never watched PewDiePie. But now, I have to watch his videos. Because I have to make sure that we're not gonna upload the same shit on the same day. I've had to delete three videos so far. Some amazing quality videos, and guess what? PewDiePie, he's like, You know what? I have no idea who this blank kid is, but guess what? I'm gonna upload the same exact thing that he's about to upload on Monday because he has a three-day uploading schedule and I have an everyday uploading schedule because I have all the time in the world because I'm rich and I have no responsibilities other than uploading every day. But Blank over there, he has all this shit like school and he has uh, he has a limited time to, to do YouTube stuff to where he can only upload three days a week but I can upload every day, so I'm gonna upload what he was gonna upload a day before he uploads it just to piss him off. That's what he says. That, that's PewDiePie there for ya. So, I'm, I'm doing this video to explain to you guys that I delete a lot of videos because I don't want to upload my video for you guys to come on my channel and say, Connor! Quit copying PewDiePie! You know you are, okay? You stupid bitch! I don't want that. I get people who say, Connor, you're copying PewDiePie every day. It pisses me off more than anything. Especially whenever they don't have any proof. They make accusations and they can't back them up. It just, ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> and it even pisses me off more that whenever they make their accusations, then I throw all the facts at them, and then they're like, oh, sorry, sorry for making those, those really generic accusations that I really didn't do any research behind. That really pisses me off, because I always prove right. Because I'm the best. Here's what's up. PewDiePie uploaded his video, deleting my channel at 50 million subs or whatever. 
what PewDiePie mostly talks about is what YouTube is doing and how all this shit YouTube does is whack. And that's exactly what I was talking about in my video. So I didn't want to upload it uh, so you guys could just tell me that I'm copying PewDiePie because I get that so much I can't even handle it anymore. Listen, I don't try to be like PewDiePie. I just, I am like PewDiePie. In, in the sense that we have very similar personalities, we are very much alike, and I can't help that. That's just me. And a lot of people say, they make accusations like, But you're copying on PewDiePie's voice! And, oh, you're, you're copying that! And, um, you're, 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 you're. What else did they say? You're copying pizza bar. Now you're not saying you're just you're just a pizza copycat. That's all. You're just a pizza wannabe. You're just a you're just a wannabe pizza pizza wannabe. And then I'm like, you know what? Shut your damn mouth before you start making some accusations like that, or I'm gonna I'm gonna have to curb stomp your bitch ass because because uh because uh, I have I have proof that uh you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So a lot of people say Connor. You copy PewDiePie's voice, but the truth is, if anything, I'm copying Filthy Frank, which that's not even true. Uh, sit down, little boys and girls. Let me let me just let me just tell you a little story, okay? So, a while back, PewDiePie uploaded a video where he was on a lie detector test. Do you copy Filthy Frank? No. <clears throat> it was it, it was a glorious moment for me because. His own friends calling him out for copying Filthy Frank made me the most happy YouTuber ever because it proves that I it's impossible for me to be copying PewDiePie. If PewDiePie is copying whatever he's doing that people are saying that I'm copying from someone else. Some people, they say, Oh, you're just copying PewDiePie's voice. Quit doing that shit. And then I'm like, hey, bitch. Actually, the voice was originally from Filthy Frank, buddy. So if anything, I'm copying Filthy Frank, and then they're all like, <clears throat> they do that part too. They burp and then they say, "Oh, I am so sorry. I do not. I didn't even know who Filthy Frank was." And then I'm sitting there like, "You don't know who Filthy Frank? You made an accusation that I copy PewDiePie without doing any kind of research." Boy, oh boy, do I have a juicy, a juicy, juicy nipple to, to, to rub. But even if, it's still not true that I copy the voice from Filthy Frank. Because here's the real person I got the idea of the voice from. His name is Asif Ali. He's a stand-up comedian. And in one of his shows, he did a voice like the one I do. It's not completely similar, but it's like the one I do. And that's where I got the idea from. I'm not trying to hide anything, guys. I'm not like, ooh, I'm copying all these all these YouTubers. Ooh, I'm gonna hide it from you guys. You'll never know. I mean, you can't say that we do a lot of the similar motions. We, we talk alike. We do a lot of the same things. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're very similar. And you're right, you're right. We are very similar. I've been like this my entire life and that's just how it is. And I mean, I can prove that with my last video and all the shit that we did, that I did, that PewDiePie ended up copying me. I don't think he copied me. I just think that he's a lot like me. And I think that I'm a lot like him and it just ends up working out that way. And I hate it because I'm always being compared and I hate that. But I can't help my personality. So I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. If you see someone who says this guy is a PewDiePie wannabe, this guy, he's just copying PewDiePie, please, tr don't be mean to him. Just try and set him straight. Send him a link to this video. Send him a link to my other video. Just do something.